lovelies, how are you today? And welcome to my channel. My name is Sharon and I'm the sole proprietor of SAEH Body Butter. And I hope you enjoy the next video. Thank you. Hello lovelies. I'm about to do a baseball hat on my hat press. And I'm doing this as a Father's Day gift to my husband. So the, the hat is black and I'm going to use red heat transfer vinyl and white heat transfer vinyl. And what I have on here is Commander's and I did an offset on Washington and I place that in the middle. Um, the Commanders, that font is, what did I use? Um, I think I used Freshman. And the Washington, I use TRW Superscript font. And unfortunately, I can't show you on this computer because these fonts are not loaded in this computer. But I will show you the process that I did. So let me move that out the way. And what I did was type in the word commanders. Let me see if I have impact on here. I think impact is a basic preloaded font. Yes, it is. Okay. So let me resize that. So I have the word commanders. I'm going to unlock unlock it so I can size it. I'm going to make it five by two and a half. Uh, let me just go up here and type it. make this 5.25 okay so that's that and then for Washington I change that size I'm gonna unlock it Make that 4.2 by 1.1. And what I did was for the Washington, uh, since I can't, I didn't want to put the the heat transfer vinyl on top of each, of each other. I wanted to create an offset so that the Washington can inlay on the commanders. I did an offset. I clicked up here and did an offset. And I'm going to change it from 0.25 to 0.15. And click apply. And then I'm going to move my original word out the way. And then I'm going to take Commander Washington up top. Move 
move commanders to the back. Send backwards. Send to the back. Okay. So Washington looks to be where I want it to be. So I'm going to highlight both of them and slice it. Okay, when it blinks, you know it has done what you asked it to do. So, move that out the way, and I don't need this. So, I'm going to get rid of that. Get rid of all of that. Move my commanders up top. Let me move this down because I couldn't see it. I'll increase the screen in a minute. Okay. So let me change the color so that you can see it. Okay. And I will inlay Washington, inlay Washington, and that's how I created what I'm about to cut out. So I did the first word in impact, and the second word. Well, you can use any font that you like. But like I said, on my original one, I used Freshman for Commanders and I used uh, TRW Superscript for Washington. But I don't have those fonts loaded on this computer. And every time I do a video or tutorial, that's when I remember that I don't have those fonts. And I say, when I finish, I'm going to upload those fonts to this computer and I forget every time so here we go again but anywho so that's how I created my wording right so I'm gonna get rid of this because I like the font of of what I originally created so we're gonna send this to the cutter by clicking on make it and I want it on the mat. I guess this is something new that Cricut has done since they uh, came out with all these new products and stuff. So I'm choosing, I want it on the mat and my mat is 12 by 12. And it's separated in two mats because we're working with two different colors. Now, if you have the time, what you could do is make your your wording the same color and just place the different color vinyl on your mat but I've had a busy day and I don't feel like doing that much thinking so we're gonna go with this and how much let me see I forgot to look That's a little over an inch by, okay, I think I, I think my strip of white, this strip of white is big enough for that. So I'm going to load it on the mat and I'll bring you right back. Okay, I have my vinyl on the mat and we need to mirror this because this is heat transfer vinyl. So I'm going to come over here 
and click on mirror and that switches the word on the map and then I'm gonna click on continue and you place your heat transfer vinyl up, upside down so you place the si shiny side down on your mat and my settings I placed it on vinyl and I'm going to click on my edit tool and click on the deep point blade and apply and hopefully this won't give me any problems because my mat needs to be clean it's not sticking too good It seems to be cutting. It shouldn't take that long since the word is not that big. and it's only one word alrighty it is finished alrighty now we're gonna put the red on there and I'll bring you back once I get that set up okay I have the uh, red set up on the mat again the red is facing down the shiny side and I've mirrored it on the uh, screen and we're going to send this through the cutter make sure it's on a deep point blade apply
Okay, it's almost finished. Okay, that is it. Let me get it set up on my table and we will start the weeding process. Okay, let's weed this. Hopefully it doesn't give me any trouble and the settings were good for weeding. I like this uh, heat transfer vinyl, HTV Ront. Not that I've had experience with a lot of HTVs, but this one to me, it weeds really good. It doesn't, it hasn't given me any problems thus far. Let me pick that up and get it close because I can't see. Let's see. Up, upside down. Okay, that looks pretty good. All right, let me get my white portion. And this will be my first time using my hat press, so we'll see how that goes, right? See how easy that weeds? Now why can't adhesive, permanent vinyl, weed that easy? Maybe there is a, you know what, come to think about it, I have some permanent vinyl from this same company and it weeds easily. I'm going to have to pick this up because even though I got on my glasses, I can't see. Maybe I turn my light around, maybe that'll help. That's, that was the secret turning my light around Thought I would do something easy first time out. Let me see, I think I got a Okay, a piece down here in between the G. And right here, and then I think I'm done. Let's turn it over and see. There's a little 
mag up on this S. There we go. Okay, that's how the Washington is looking. And this is how the commander is doing. So what I would do is I'm going to tack this down first. I think the total time on the heat press is 10 seconds. So I'm going to try to tack this down for 3 seconds until it sticks to the hat. And then I'll put this part on. Or maybe I'll do the reverse because this, if I do this first, then when I put this on, it'll be covering the whole thing. Yeah, I think I'll do it that way. We shall see if I can get it lined up on the hat correctly. So let me get the heat press set up and I'll bring you back. Okay, this is my heat press. And I have it set for 320 for 15 seconds because that is the directions for the uh, heat transfer vinyl that I'm using. And I have it set up on the, let me see if I can get you closer. I have Washington set up on the hat as centered as best as possible. And like I said, I'm going to tack that down for about three to four seconds pull that up and then put the other piece on so let's see how it goes like I said I have it set in the center and hopefully that seam in the middle of the hat won't give me no trouble with lifting hopefully I have enough pressure on it okay I'm gonna pull that up and see if it's tacked down enough So far, so good. That did good. I was a little nervous because, like I said, this is my first time. And And the reason why you tack down your first layer as opposed to going uh, the full time is because heat transfer vinyl has a tendency to shrink up on you. So you just press it enough so it can tack down and then you go down for the full time. And this is turning out good so far. Like I said, I'm making this for my husband for Father's Day, but I'm so excited that I might want to show it to him now. Well, I could. Well, no, because he going to know it's for him because he loves the... Uh... All right. Let me take that down because that keeps on flapping up on me. One second, let me get my tape. Because I don't want it to shift when I uh I don't want it to shift when I put the uh lever down and my heat tape don't want to stick See, that shifted a little. Excuse me if my head is in the way. I think that is it right there and I'm just going to go down all right so now we'll go down for the full 15 seconds okay let me 
lift it up and hopefully that adhered. Up, oh, needs some more time. It needs some more time. I might add some more pressure. And you know what? This is a cool peel. I remembered. It says peel after 45 seconds. So I'm going to press this down. I was so excited. I was ready to take it off. Alexa. Give me a 30 second timer. 30 seconds. Starting now. I have to ask Alexa for help. And I'm just helping it cool off and tack down to the hat. I was thinking about the first part that I tacked down and pulled it off immediately. Alexa, stop. All right, let's see what we got. It's still not tacked down in the middle. It's 45 seconds. Alexa, give me a 45 second timer. 45 seconds, starting now. That should do it this time. I forgot to check my pressure. Test my pressure before I did the uh, hat. Alexa, stop. Okay. All righty. That is it. Now let me see if I can get it off this contraction. Lift up. There it is. I love it. I am so excited. You know how you get excited when you do something new and it turns out right? But I do see one minor mistake right here. My C, I, I should have brought that up a little bit. A little bit, because it's right there on the, uh, the crease. But hey, it's a gift and my first time and I'm excited about it. So thank you for joining me in my journey and my first hat on my hat press. Alrighty, talk to you later. Bye-bye.